welcome to another unboxing video from the playersaid.com and today we're looking at something a little bit older. Uh, this is Clash of Monarchs from GMT Games. Uh, this is one that I picked up recently uh, from not an estate sale but a large fire sale of the collection. This is from 2008 so this has been around the block for nearly 15 years. Uh, but this is a game about the Seven Years War in Europe so it's 1759-1763 and this is kind of a, you can play it two player, you can play it I think up to four potentially. Um, big, quite rich and deep CDG game. So we'll take a little look at this. Uh, I, what do they say on here? Yeah, two to four players. BGG recommends you play it with two. So I, I don't know how that plays out one way or the other, but it is comparatively complex. Uh, a lot of people were like, yeah, this is one of the deeper CDGs. There's lots of interesting supply rules and bits and pieces like that, so we'll kind of get to this at some point. But I thought, very interesting game on a topic that we don't play a lot of. And uh, yeah, it's always interesting popping into a game that's 15 years old and I just took the shrink wrap off. So, we do have a little message from GMT from the person who packed it, thank you very much. Um, we do have a singular piece of errata, which is a little bit beat up because of the big massive stack of cards that was in this. And then we have 2d6, one blue and one kind of a marble, and these are marble-esque dice, which is pretty nice. Okay. And we do have the old school style bag o bags. And these are the very small little ones. But I will most likely, depending on how many counters there are, I'll put a tray in this. But who knows with the cards. So we do have a big Huge amount of cards in this, which we will get to. Just take a shrink off of those. And the cards are aligned to the different factions. So we have the Prussian cards. Uh, Prussia. And then we have the France slash Russia cards. From the old alliance back in the day that persisted for an extremely long time. Britain. And then the fourth player, Austria. I was, in, I was wondering, because they've got the, uh, the five nations on the front. Two of them are amalgamated into one. Okay, great. So these have a number of different uh, items on them. So you're looking at ops values in the top left-hand corner. Uh, and then or an event that's listed on them. This one's a major campaign. This one's a one-time event, it says it up here. But these have a lot of color and pictures and uh, text on them. So those are all things considered, especially for 2008, extremely nice. And so these are the French ones. They got the blue border on them. The Russian ones kind of got a green border on them. The British ones are red. But look at that, those are lovely cards. It's lovely artwork on them. And then the Prussian ones, well, nice Prussian blue. Those are very, very nice cards. I'm not going to pretend that they're not. So, next thing we got, paper map. This is a point to point game. Let me open this up. I know it isn't everyone's cup of tea. I do enjoy them, or at least I don't have anything against them. I enjoy a good point to point game. Uh, 22 by 34 map. And so you've got everything from kind of Antwerp over here in what well, Belgium, Metz, and then all the way across, all the way across here, up to Königsberg. So you, most of kind of like central, or, or like central northern Europe, so to speak. Most of what would become Germany, Poland, and uh, you know the e eastern edge of France, then and the Low Countries. All the way down to Augsburg down here. So, as you can see, there's also a lot of different like holding boxes and tracks and admin kind of bits and pieces. So you do have a map key up here, which is nice. Um, but you also have some different holding boxes down here. And then over here we have a supply actions and victory points track. And, and I'd heard that supply is a very important part of this game. And so they include a big track there for you, which is pretty intense. And this is uh, Monarchial Will. I don't know if that's to do with desire to fight. 
that would be very interesting. And if that, you're, if that collapses, then someone's going to lose as they surrender, I would presume. But yeah, a lot of stuff going on here. Pretty cool uh, typeface that they're using. But uh, ho hopefully everything's fairly re readable. We'll, we'll kind of see about that. So the rest of the game that we have in here is a big old stack of paper and card. So the first thing we've got is three counter sheets of units. So, oh, and these are uh, the old white core counters. It's got these dark blue Prussian ones and Prussian leaders. And we've got red British units and leaders. Then we have these green Russian ones and these light blue French ones. And then we've got, I think, is this Saxony? I'm not sure about that. But uh, we have Austrians in white. And then this is the Danish. And then I am not sure if we've got some Swedes. And I think, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. And a lot of admin counters on this. So we've got a lot of events and bits and pieces here, markers. Some little strength point style markers siege markers and a lot of other admin markers, I'm not quite sure what they are and these are all dual sided mostly as well as are the units most of these, like the infantry units, they have a one on one side and two on the other for kind of like making change and that kind of a thing uh, but I think these kind of the special units like the artillery and the cavalry they have a... I don't a, a reduced side maybe because they have a, a different line at the top and then a lower value so I'm not quite sure if those ones reduce in capacity or have a different mode whether that's move and fire that kind of thing so there are three sheets of counters so I don't know if I'll be able to get all of that in a single counter, a counter tray so we might end up doing bags so then we have kind of the player cards so this is for the Austrians they have their force pools as kind of a holding box and then they might have Saxons and the Imperials, which, if we go back here, these were the Saxons, and then these were the Imperials, and by Saxon we obviously mean Saxony, rather than Vikings. <laughs> the uh, Anglo-Allied, the British, they have a, a box for the Danish and Orange, the French have a Danish and Swedish box, and then a Russian box as well, and then again the Prussians have a Saxon box, so it looks like their allegiance may switch, or have different... Uh, they might be differently allied during different scenarios in the game. So, we have this plague card, which is uh, matte and dual sided. And it looks like we've got a number of different charts and tables on this one. And on both sides here, which I think is different from all of these other ones. So, these ones are the regular play aids. So, all of these are identical play aids for each of the different players, and they are a bifold. So when we talked about kind of depth to the game, this is part of what we're referencing as well. So you've got normal march, forced march, admin march, various different coordinated attack tables and supply actions charts. And then here we have an intense battle CRT, and then we have a measured battle CRT. Those are two different things. So again, probably based on troops and commitment, you're looking at rolling on different charts and tables. A tactics chart, and then we have uh, a recruitment table and army size limits chart. So again, this is this is a it's from two thousand eight, and some of the games back then were very detailed with the um, historical stuff. We do have two rules: we got a rule book and a playbook. So the rule book itself, we're looking at about thirty odd pages, it looks like, and this is black and white. Kind of matte, two column stuff. So far, okay, some diagrams, thanks. Not not a ton, but some. Okay, monarchical will, and how to win. So if, if you just wanted kind of the basic stuff, 24 pages of rules. We do have some advanced rules down here, if you were so inclined, and then some designer notes in the back, and then a nice rules index. Thank goodness for a rules index. On the back of it, we do have a sequence of play. So, Frustratingly, we don't have that on a play aid card, so we will be photocopying this because I kind of hate it when we have sequence of play on the back of the rules. So we have a playbook, which has a diplomacy chart on the back, which is 
both awesome and also quite detailed, but always love a good diplomacy chart because that means we get some dynamic play within the factions themselves. And here we have introductory scenarios, no year more rich, a bunch of different scenarios, a bunch of different setups that you can play. So I appreciate that. So you can kind of tailor the game to what you need it to be. And then we have an extended example of play, which <laughs> for this game will definitely be following. Absolutely. And then background detail, historically speaking, of the cards in here. And then we have a gazetteer as well. And some credits at the end. So there's a ton in this box. And I've never played this. And we've kind of played a couple titles from this kind of late 2000s era. And, you know, what I would say is, is that, like, rule books of production have come on a long way from all war game companies since then. And so sometimes you have to kind of, like, work your way through these. But I'm very, I'm always, I'm always interested and excited to play these because you always get something new or unexpected or at least very interesting because, I don't know, you just don't see some of these kinds of games anymore with the depth covering topics that you do. So I'm very excited to play this at some point. Obviously, it being an older game, it's kind of probably at the end of the queue, uh, so to speak. But at some point, we'll get to this. If you've played this, please let me know and let me know how it is and maybe which scenarios you might recommend for two players, if the four player game's even worth it, or if that's also like a huge endeavor. But I'd be very interested to see what your thoughts are on this. So this is Clash of Monarchs from GMT Games. Again, it's from 2008. You probably get this secondhand somewhere kicking around. Uh, but appreciate you very much for tuning in. I've been Alexander from PlayersAid.com. Thanks for watching.